Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable automatic updates in Google Chrome. So, you probably should not be disabling Chrome updates just for security's sake, but if for some reason you're looking to disable it, perhaps you're a computer administrator or whatnot, and you're looking just to turn this off, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, we are going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in services, best match, should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and just left click on that. You also want to make sure you have closed out of the Chrome browser if it's presently open. And you want to navigate to the Google Update service. It should say G Update M. Go ahead and double click on that. Set startup type to disabled and then select apply and OK. And you want to do the same thing for the other one, the G update right above it. You want to disable that as well. Again, from a security standpoint, you probably don't want to do this for a prolonged period of time. However, if you have some sort of application or extension or something that seems to be breaking with the new version of Chrome and maybe you need an extra couple days of time before you switch over or update. Maybe this is what you would do. Just want to put that out there, but we're going to go ahead and select apply and OK. And that should disable both of the update services there. So once that is done, you would close out of here, open up the star menu, type in task scheduler. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, so once this is open here, you're going to go select the Task Scheduler Library on the left side. And now you want to locate the Google Update task. And there might be two in here. You want to go ahead and just right click on each of them and select Disable. And then we're going to do that for the other one here. And then once you want to re-enable it at some point, you just right click on it and select enable. So again, you just would undo what we did in the services and then you would re-enable these two tasks that are in the task scheduler here. And once that is done, you just would close out of here, restart your computer, and that would be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.